Hello everyone welcome to our news channel. I ask you to subscribe please leave your like and thank you very much. This report is from today's CNBC Daily Open, our new, international markets newsletter. CNBC Daily Open brings investors up to speed on everything they need to know, no matter where they are. Like what you see. You can subscribe here. What you need to know today. Inflation in the U.S. rose just 0.1% from April to May, or 4% on a year-over-year -year basis. That's the lowest level in two years. But core inflation, which excludes food and energy prices, remains worryingly high, it's up 0.4% on the month and 5.3% from a year ago. All numbers are as economists expected. U.S. stocks rose Tuesday on optimism that the Federal Reserve can skip a rate hike at its meeting later today, though major indexes added less than 1%. Asia-Pacific markets traded mixed Wednesday. While South Korea's Kospi fell 0.5%, Japan's Nikkei 225 climbed 1.5% on the back of a 5% jump in Toyota shares. China's property sector could be stuck in a slump for years and drag down the country's economy, warned several Wall Street analysts. Even if the Chinese government tries to stimulate the sector, there's no quick fix for the problems, which means recovery will be slow, said Goldman Sachs. Still, China is a key player in today's multipolar world, and Saudi Arabia sees the country as a crucial partner. Saudi Minister of Investment Khalid al Fali told CNBC. A multipolar world is one in which there are many centers of power, implying that the U.S. no longer dominates the world stage. AMD will ship its new chip designed specifically for artificial intelligence, the MI300X, later this year. It'll be the strongest contender NVIDIA has faced in the market for AI chip. But AMD faces an uphill battle, NVIDIA controls over 80% of market share for AI chips, according to analysts. Pro the artificial intelligence boom may rely on NVIDIA's chips, but NVIDIA's chips themselves rely on a key semiconductor component that Morgan Stanley says is a cheaper way to play the AI game. The Bottom Line The U.S. Consumer Price Index for May was mostly great news for traders, who saw it as a sign that the Fed will leave interest rates unchanged at the conclusion of its meeting Wednesday. Though the annual rate of inflation at 4% is still two times the Fed's target, it's the slowest increase since March 2021. And while there are signs core inflation remains sticky, traders don't seem as worried since it's largely pushed up by an 8% rise in shelter prices. That category tends to not reflect the current rental market because the CPI looks at the rental prices people are currently paying, not the rental prices landlords are asking for now. And real page data shows rents are up only 2.3% year over year in May, which might signal further cooling in the upcoming month's CPI. That leaves room for the Fed to pause its rate hikes. Traders think there's only a 10% chance the Fed will raise rates according to the CME Group's FedWatch tool. But just as you can resume a show you've paused, so can the Fed return to its regular programming of rate increases. Indeed, Santander's chief U.S. economist Stephen Stanley argues the Fed will pause in June, only to resume hiking in July. BlackRock's head of iShares investment strategy Gargi Chowdhury thinks the Fed will skip while signaling at least one further hike by the end of 2023. Whether the Fed eventually continues its increases depends, of course, on further inflation data. The producer price index comes out later today. While that might be too late to factor into the Fed's June decision, it'll give traders a better idea of whether we're looking at a pause-and-play situation.